Oh. Oh man. Three thousand? Jesus. There you go. Look at that baby. It's a sick shield. Okay, now we have that ghost one to do, but we have to wait an hour or so before they start showing up. Um, let's see where I am right now. We can make a left here. This sh the should be one that shows up so long as I've actually talked to everyone properly. If I have, then I may change things. Graveyard. We got an hour before it shows up. We gotta chill for a bit. Guess <laughs> <laughs> eh. I could buy some stuff. Is there any shops near me? I can go heal myself, come back. I need to be careful of monsters. Are there any monsters yet? Thanks for coming. coming this again. is all salad. I see it. I also see niblets. So many freaking niblets. Evil has a price. Hello. The day is finally come when I get to meet the savior. Are you you must be one of the heretics young victims. Yes, that's right. But looks can be deceiving. I'm not so young anymore. It might be hard to tell, but I've seen many more years than you have. I'm sorry. I'm the reason you were killed. It's my fault. Oh, stop it. Don't look so solemn. It's not like you plunged a knife through my heart. Besides, it was a fitting way for me to go. How could it be fitting? When I was alive, the Almighty God Bonavelsa spoke to me. He told me I was to save the souls of those in need. I devoted my entire life to carrying out the plan he had laid out for me. If what you say is true, that would make you a savior too. No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. I wish I was like you, but I'm just a fraud that thought she was chosen by God. After I died, I realized something. It was just an echo in my head that I turned into something else because I wanted to hear God so badly. I know you must think I'm just a big fool, but... Will you save me, Savior? You have no idea how much I wish I could. I just don't have the power to save the dead. <laughs> what a pair we make. The one who is actually chosen by God, and a fraud who thought she was chosen by God, and neither can do a thing. I tried, though. I tried and was never able to save a single soul. At the very least... I wish I could have saved my own.
phantom rose. It looks like a rose, but I've never seen anything quite like it. Is this what that boy and his mom were waiting for? What Micah promised them? I'd better take it to them. Otherwise, those two will never give up on her. Okay, let's finish this quest and then, first. At that very moment, her soul shone with a blinding light, and somehow she was saved. It shouldn't have been possible. I don't have the power to save the dead. How could this be? Was God listening? Did he hear her last wish and perform a miracle through his gracious will? Or... Was it me? Am I more powerful than even God himself knows? <laughs> You're uh, opening an entire cans of worms there if you think you are more powerful than God. But I'll leave that up to you. Kind of just like tempting fate. <laughs> Chronostasis. Okay, two more souls. I do have the rose to complete the next mission though. But let's finish off this mission first. Ah, there you are. You look familiar for some reason. You and I, we've met before, right here where we stand. Although I really wasn't in any state to introduce myself at that time, I'm afraid. You're one of the women who was killed by Etro's heretics. It was your resemblance to me that got you killed. It was because of me that you died. Yes, but I don't blame you. All is part of God's plan. It was my destiny to die here so that I could meet you, Savior. You're saying God intended for you to die like this? I believe so. I believe I was meant to die and gain enlightenment. I know because I was a member of the Order and learned all about the teachings of God. I'm to share with you my knowledge and help guide you on your journey. Savior. You must be aware that in this world, new life hasn't been born for hundreds of years. Do you know why that is? I've never given it much thought, but I suppose that's part of his plan too. A dying world can't support a growing population. And that's what the almighty Bonavelza chose as his solution. Is that it? No, I'm afraid that's not the case. It wasn't due to his plan. It was because of the goddess's disappearance. Because of Etro? How? In this world, Etro is believed to be the goddess of death. Her followers are heretics. Ones who go against society's ways. But the true Etro... She was the goddess that provided new life with a soul and a spirit. And now that she's gone, there's no one out there to take her place. Anything born into this world would be nothing more than an empty vessel. Reincarnation isn't a part of the world's cycle anymore. Dead souls don't return to this world in a new form. And that's why no new life is born. This problem, it doesn't just affect our world. According to legend, the almighty Bonavelsa will appear before us one day. And when he does, he will recreate heaven and earth. But that leads to the question, when this happens, who will breathe life into the new world? That's a good question. With the goddess gone, I suppose someone needs to fill her shoes. Yes. Otherwise, the circle of life will remain broken, and the new world stagnant. You have a duty as the savior. If you really care about what happens to us in the new world, you have to find a way to do what Etro once did. That's a hell of a tall order. Finding a replacement for a goddess. But I want to thank you for telling me this, and I won't forget what you told me. You have my word. That's all I need to hear, to be completely honest. I... I don't know if you can save us all. But I know that if I have to put my faith in someone, it's you. I'm gonna become the new goddess. You just watch. Lightning will what become. What just happened? 
Was I able to save her soul? But that's not possible. I thought that wasn't within my powers. What was that light? Did you say something? The monitors were acting up again. They do that sometimes. Holostasis. Hope, you said that the savior doesn't have the power to save the souls of the dead. I can save the living. That's it. That's right. You can save all the living souls you want, but once they're dead, it's too late to help them. What makes you ask? Is there something you want to share? No, just thinking aloud. Don't worry about it. Need an item shop. I gotta buy some high potions. I'm going to go actually trim this in now. This phantom rose. Since this door is open currently and I am right here. Back into Old Town. Let's see. Nothing to do with the Hello. Lackey. You really should know your limit. Lackley. Hey, wake up. Excuse me, but who are you? And how is it you know Lackley? I don't know him too well, but he asked me to find his lost fiance. I've come to tell him about this lead I've found. About Filiana? But... Where did... At a restaurant in Yusnan. Apparently, there was an old woman working there who wore the same ring that Lackley gave to his fiance. And when her health failed, that woman went to stay with a friend who lived in... Huh. What? What is it? Is there something wrong with my hat? According to the man I talked to at the restaurant, the friend who came to pick up the elderly lady was wearing an unusual hat. You seem familiar enough with Lackley. You also knew Filiana's name. Was it you? Let me explain. Lackley and Filiana and I are friends from long ago. I'm Sila. And yes, I'm the one who escorted that old woman from the shop in Yusnan. Care to tell me why? Sure, but can we go elsewhere? I don't want Lackley to hear this. There's a graveyard with no name. You know of it, don't you? It's beyond North Station, on the outskirts of town. <laughs> Oh, oh, good. He's still sleeping. Come to the graveyard later so we can talk. Oh, I was just at the graveyard. Come on, people. Hang around the same area, please. Make my life so much easier. Stupid robots. Your light is mine. You're so eager to die. Rush takes forever. I don't have electricity right now. I should swap it out though. You can't read me. Okay, let's do this. Need more motor coils. Alright, they were sitting at a table last time I remember. Come on, people. Ah, there you are. It's the savior looking lady again. You're back. You wouldn't be talking to me like that if you knew what I'd been up to. I'll have you know I've been to see your real savior. You saw Micah? What did she say? When's she gonna come back? I have some bad news. Micah won't be coming to see you anytime soon. She had to leave on a long journey. She didn't have much choice in the matter. But she... She did give me this, though, to give to you. Is this what 
I think it is. A phantom rose? Awesome! Mom, look at this! It's the flower, and it's real! It really is breathtaking. A legendary flower that will never wither. The petals almost seem to glow. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you, miss. Micah kept her promise, so I guess I'd better try to do the same. I may not be long for this world, but then again, the world is nearly out of time itself. I think I can hold on until then. Mom! I told you Micah would keep her promise! I knew she wouldn't let us down! Not in a million years! You were right, sweetie. Miss Micah, she really was a savior, wasn't she? Our savior. Oh, man, I've collected so much Arabia. Purple lightning. The Phantom Rose, a ghostly name for a beautiful blossom that supposedly never withers or dies. Micah wasn't the savior. The only voice of God she heard was in her own head. But even if she was delusional, the hope and promise she provided was real. For those two, she was undeniably the real savior. Maybe, just maybe, we're the same. Even if I think I'm the real savior, in someone else's eyes, I would probably seem as foolish and mad as that poor girl might to me. Perhaps I'll steal your heart. I'm no thief. Stupid bird. Oh, I didn't block that. Ah. Gotta put an electricity attack where the arrow is. Stupid arrow. Time to repent. You're so eager to die. Oh, come on. I'm no thief. Got a good mix now. The moon brings up the sky. Okay, now we gotta find that last ghosty. Can I climb this? No. Gonna go up here. It's beside that clock tower, if I remember correctly. I'll just wait till I get to back to the Ark to buy the high potion from from hope. I did the correct way. Need more chronostasis. Born from chaos. No, oh, thank you. Soul seed, though. More soul seeds. Miss Saka. All right. Clock tower. Last ghost. Where are you? There you are. Who are you? You of all people should know who I am. And what happened here. Think about it.
Your hair color. I guess I do know what happened. You were a victim of Vetra's fanatics, weren't you? That's right. When I was alive, I spent my days as one of God's soldiers, keeping those heretics in line. It wasn't easy, but under the Order's authority, I worked day and night to keep the peace. That's probably why I was targeted. It was certainly courageous, going against such a dangerous organization. Do you know anything about the Shadowhunter? Rumor has it he's their leader, a renegade rebelling against the established order. Another one of society's outcasts. His actions weren't without good reason. In all fairness, we brought it on ourselves. The Order went through a dark period. A lot of mistakes were made back then. The Elders used their monopoly on food and goods to enforce the law. Do as we tell you were starved to death. Neither's much of a choice, is it? Of course, when you start reducing food supplies, what happens? The weak and innocent go hungry, too. Then one day an incident occurred that shocked everyone. Someone stole and redistributed the food reserves to the children of Etro. Many of them were on the edge of starvation. <laughs> A heroic bandit. Yes. Rumor has it that during his operation, he snuck into the quarters of one of the elders and left a message on their pillow while they were sleeping. A bold move, huh? The Shadow Hunter will seek justice. The Order got scared and began distributing provisions to everyone again. It's strange hearing the stories I've missed while I was asleep. So much has happened in the past 500 years that I know nothing about. We never crossed paths when you were still alive, and I can't even begin to imagine what you must have gone through during your lifetime. I just wanted to pass on my stories before I disappeared forever. It's an honor to get to share them with you, of all people. I appreciate you giving me your time. Thank you. <laughs> the last one. That concludes it.